Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own geometric art. I'm sure you've seen it in lots of different places, it's really really popular at the moment but actually it's really easy to make because it's all just based on geometric shapes. No great artistic ability needed. So how about getting started with your own? I'm Christine of christinescrafts.com and this channel is dedicated to crafting on a budget. So what are you going to need to make your own? You're going to need a canvas. I'm using a small 8 inch square one, but you can use whatever size you like. Some paint. I'm using acrylic paint because I found this works really well on the canvas. So stick with an acrylic. You're going to need a paintbrush and somewhere for your paints. So I've just got a little palette for mine. It doesn't matter what you put it on. And you're going to need some masking tape or decorators tape and some scissors so you can cut it down to length. Although to be honest, you can usually just tear it, but you might want some nice neat edges. So we're going to start by using that tape to mark up our design. So just decide how you want yours to look or make it up as you go along. Perhaps you want to copy one you've seen somewhere. But what you're going to do is I've decided a triangle at this end. So you place a piece of tape over, making sure both ends are long enough to wrap right around the canvas to the back. Because remember, when you hang a canvas on the wall like this, you can see the sides. So it's really important they're done as well. Smooth it down, wrap it round the back and make sure you get it all the way over, right onto that back face. And that's it, you've marked up the first section you're going to paint. Now it's really important that your tape is down nice and flat. It needs to be smooth with no ridges at all and it's worth running along all those edges really carefully. I've found a fingernail is a good idea just to run along those edges and make sure when you go over the edge of your canvas it's nice and tight on there. The last thing you want is the paint getting under your tape. Now you're going to find when you've watched this video all the way through I had a bit of trouble because I was filming it I didn't take enough care and enough time smoothing down my tape. So you will see the problems that arise if you don't take enough time. So I can't stress enough, take plenty of time to smooth them down. The canvas you saw at the beginning, and I will show you again at the end, is one I did for my blog. So I took photos as I was doing that one. Did it in exactly the same way. It just took more time and it worked perfectly. So as you can see, I've added another tape and you can see where they're crossing over. I decided to trim the end. You don't have to, you can leave the crossover, it's whatever you're looking for in your design. So I've set myself up two triangles on those top corners. I'm looking at the rest of it and thinking, now what do I want to do? Well, maybe I don't want it all to be triangles. So I'm going to this time start on one of the tapes I've already got and just run it down from there to the bottom. There's no problem with having tapes coming up to other ones. It depends on what you're, you're aiming for in your design. But the same rules apply. Nice and smooth. Work on those edges. Wrap it round the end. Smooth it down really well. Now you'll see and you'll think, well, she's smoothing it quite a lot, but it wasn't enough. So please do make sure you get your edges nice and, and flat because you get a nice crisp edge on your artwork. I still think that's a little bit too large for those areas. So I think I'm going to go there. You see, you can pull your tape across, you can try it out, you're not committed to anything. You can see I've just decided to get it right to that corner. Right to the end of that tape and right to the corner. And that's going to give me the effect I'm looking for. It's entirely up to you. Going right to a corner like that is quite nice, you do get a certain effect. And if you're looking closely at that tape now, in the middle you're going to see a little crease. This is the problem with filming. I sometimes don't take enough time and that's going to cause me a problem in a bit. So I've tried to smooth it out and I'm still being careful to wrap around the end. Now, because I've come to the end, there's a little bit of tape sticking out. I'll just trim that off. Okay, just trim that off so that it fits flat on the end because that's the effect I'm going for. I want the paint to come right up to the end but not to go around the corner. Smooth this one down. 
I'm going to allow them to cross over, which will give me a slightly different effect on the end. And now the question is, am I happy with it? Do I need any more or am I going to leave it like that? So I think those areas are a little bit too big. So let's put another piece of tape on. Just going to go from one to the other. So long as the end of the tape is above the other tape, that will work absolutely fine. Nice and smooth. So it really is a case of smoothing everything down really carefully now to make sure no paint can get underneath. And to think about paint, I've done mine all one colour. Obviously you can use as many different colours as you like. This is your design. This is where you can get even more creative. Maybe you've already pencilled this out. Maybe you already know what colours. So make sure they're all smooth and then get yourself set up for your paint. So you're going to need your acrylic paint and you're going to need something to pop it in. It's You can just use a saucer or a little plastic tray, it doesn't matter. And then start painting. Now the key here is to be really careful and to run along your tapes. Every time you go up to the tape, you risk pushing the paint underneath. So try and paint along the tape. Now obviously where one tape meets another, there's going to be a little bit of pushing the brush up against the tape, but just do as little of that as you can. And work your way around, fill in one space and then another. Obviously I've sped this up, you can take your time. See that I'm just working steadily, keeping away from the tape. Doesn't matter if some of your paint goes on the tape because you're going to take that off. And just fill each section. At the moment I'm just working up to the edge and not worrying about going round the corner just getting a, a covering on the top. Let's fill this space. And then the final space, I'm not going to paint all of it on the top because I'm going to use it to be able to move my canvas. So I'll leave a little bit in the corner, unpainted, so that I can move it without getting covered in paint. That's the last thing I want. Okay, so now I'm going to think about the edges. And to paint those, I'm going to need to put something underneath the canvas. I'm going to use these four little plastic boxes just because I've got them and they fit nicely under the canvas and help stop it moving around. But you just need something to raise it up off your work surface. And then you're going to paint the edges. Again, just work nicely along the edge. You can see where you need to go. Go from one tape to the other. And then once you've filled that side, do just look at the top and make sure it still looks okay. You don't want a ridge of paint running along the edge. So you'll see as I work along, I'm working on the side and I'm also working on the top. I'm constantly looking at the top and thinking, oh, I'll put a bit more paint there. Oh, I need to tidy up the edge. You just keep working your way. You're trying to cover the whole of the edge of the canvas, apart from where the tape is, so that it's all ready to hang once it's all dry. You may also decide once all your paint has dried that it's not really thick enough. So don't be afraid to let it all dry and then come back and add some more to thicken up the, uh, the depth of colour. As you can see, I'm just getting around to that, that last corner now. I've just decided to add a bit more in the middle because I've been adding some to the edge sections. Final turn, last edge. You see it moves a little bit, but I was able to just pop it back with the brush and finish it off. And then just leave it to dry and make sure you let your paint get completely dry and all the coats on it you want and that you've completely finished painting before you move on to the next step. Okay, can't stress that enough. Make sure it's all completely dry before you worry about the next step. So the next step is remove your tape. So you're going to have to have a look and look for the last piece of tape you put on and take that one off first so that there's nothing overlapping it. And as you can see, you get a beautiful straight edge and that effect you're looking for. So you just have to keep looking for the next one down and the next one down and peel them off. Now you'll start to see here where I haven't got the edges down really smooth. There's a little bit of bleed of paint underneath. But you can avoid that quite easily. 
Let me just take another one. Ah, there's one on the top of it. So then I realise I need to take that one first. And then that's it, all the tape's off. And you've completed your piece of art. Now, as you can see, mine's not perfect, but you could always go along it with some white paint and tidy that up. If you're really careful with your painting and really careful with getting the edge of the tape down, it should work beautifully and be perfect, just like the orange one. So good luck with doing your artwork and I hope you enjoy the process. I actually found it really relaxing and you can end up with some very expensive looking art to go on your wall for really very little expense. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up below. And if you like what you're seeing on this channel, please subscribe and then you'll see everything as I post it. And do leave me any comments below. I read and respond to them all. Thank you for watching.